my loves welcome back to vlogmas day 17 so today as you can tell from the title is going to be a video all about eating chinese food in london because today i have a craving for chinese food <laughs> so i was like let's make a video about it showing you all the different things that i'm eating and also things that you can either order from now if you are based in london or things to put on your list to eat when you do visit london and today i'm also going to be filming something for a work project uh, that i'll be revealing later this week i'll be spending quite a few hours on that filming from home so i thought why not just make today a food theme video fear not there's going to be two festive food theme videos coming next week closer to christmas which can you believe that's going to be christmas next week i feel like december just gone past so so quickly but before i get into the food it's time for today's christmas question of the day and christmas joke of the day so the christmas joke of the day is <clears throat> what do you call a frog that's hanging down from the ceiling <laughs> a missile toad and i was seeing this punchline and i was thinking so what happens if you kiss under the missile toad and you kiss the toad, do you get still get a prince? What happens? But anyway, someone's got to answer that question. Today's Christmas question of the day is, and considering we're covering Chinese food today, and there's so many different styles of cooking within Chinese cuisine, so many different flavors and different preparations, I want to know what your favorite Chinese dish is. If you haven't tried a lot of Chinese food, then what's a dish that you have seen before that you're like, oh, I'd quite like to be able to try that one day. And now I'm about to head over to my sister's because I need to grab some clothes from her as well for this video. And I thought I'd bring over some buns from Bun House that they sent me earlier this week to steam over there. Um, and I'll show you in more close detail later, but we've got a, actually I'll show you a sneak peek. But they're all handmade and they're so beautiful. <sighs> Look at how cute they are. So, so, so cute. So I'll go into more detail about these when I'm there because I also want to steam some, dim sum over there as well. So I'll show you that and um, yeah. Let's go. Also, I wanted to thank Jackson, Jillian, and Lauren for your coffee donations. Thank you so much. I just got the notification through and I was just like, yay! Tomorrow I'm gonna be taking myself on a little festive walk, maybe festive hopefully, uh, around London, and I'm gonna go and get myself some hot drinks, some maybe some cookies, a slice of cake, maybe some lunch, and I'll be thinking of you. So thank you so much for that. And do let me know if I pronounce your name right as well, because I know that Jillian or Gillian, it depends on whether it's a soft G or a hard G and I want to pronounce it right so yeah do let me know if I got that wrong but thank you so much to yeah Jackson, Gillian and Lauren and then also yesterday Jonathan and Claire and also Gary and Rosemary Rose thank you so 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 much and um yeah it's really 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 lovely of you to do so especially with this time of the year not only that but i love your comments as well and i'm so happy to hear that I'm enjoying vlogmas so thank you for traveling virtually with me every single day and yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> in terms of buying takeaway silmai which are pork and prawn steamed dumplings there are two brands i like to go for either the Sum, which i just get from like a local asian supermarket or from siwu in chinatown or there's one called royal china's brand and that's my favorite 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 one just take out how much you need put it on a oiled plate and then steam it for 25 minutes i've got some chinese tea leaves and a strainer thought i'd go all out today and i'm just gonna oops it's going everywhere just gonna let it just gonna let it sit for a few minutes honestly how easy is this just steam it for 25 minutes go and do your thing in my case just take a little pictures of my food <laughs> And then 25 minutes later, it's done. And I also have the chicken with glutinous rice wrapped in lotus leaf as well, which was called my gate in Cantonese. So good. So I'm just gonna get my dips ready and enjoy. My Chinese tea is now ready to drink as well. These are the two dips that I like, Worcestershire sauce and some Tio Del chili oil from Li Gum Gi.
10 minutes of steam because they're freshly made. So they've got three different types of ones. So the snowman and the coral one are custard buns with salted duck egg and coconut, my favorite one from Bun House. And then the Christmas gift and the blue snowflake are black sesame lava buns, which will be so good. Love black sesame. And it's not too sweet either. And the Christmas tree and the golden snowflake are gingerbread toffee buns with dates. I've never tried that flavor before. Very festive. So I'm gonna steam them after my pork and prawn dumplings as dessert. This is a new flavour to me and this one is the gingerbread toffee with dates and it's the Christmas tree. Mmm, it tastes like the inside of a mince pie but with the bun exterior and it's all fluffy outside. I think I prefer this to mince pies. Back at the studio now and I'm just prepping to film something for a brand partnership which I'm really excited to tell you about um, later this week. So hopefully everything's going to go live at the weekend but I'm just getting ready to film for it now and I'm literally going all out like I've been so excited about planning this. So let me show you behind the scenes. I'm not going to tell you which brand it is but it isn't a fashion brand but it's going to be a fashion type video. Can you guess what it is based on these outfits? But yes, that's why today's vlog is going to be very, very simple because all of my <laughs> time is being spent just filming this and coordinating it. And then I need to get it all edited and wrapped up to send to the client for approval. And then if all goes well, then everything will go live later this week, for the weekend. I'm just so excited about this partnership. Like, oh. So yeah, I'm really excited to um, put that all together. So how many times do I want to say excited? But anyway, I'll do a little time lapse to show you what it looks like behind the scenes. But ah, this was so fun. Further down. Yeah, okay. This is my little sneak peek, and it's all I'm going to show you for now. But this is the first outfit, and I've got a fake bob stitch going on here, which I don't know. I don't actually think I look too bad of a fake bob, you know. Anyway, back to work. That's a wrap, baby, and I've got so much coal lying around right now. Well, a little bit more than I normally wear, but uh, I must get this wiped, and then let's go and get some Chinese food. They were so good. At the end, we were like laughing so much because I just couldn't act like a moody teenager. But we did it. We did it. And now it's time to eat. Hopefully, if all things go well, then you should see <laughs> the full video on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on there already, then head on over and follow at Deja Shu with two U's at the end, D-E-J-A-S-H-W. And um, all will be revealed on the Sunday. <laughs> And this is also something I want to involve you with as well. I'm here chilling now and I'm going to order some Chinese food from Golden Dragon in Chinatown. Tried and tested, so good. I'm ordering off an app called Hungry Panda if you can read Chinese. And this is an app for you because you basically can order from a ton of different like Chinese stores, restaurants, but also like various Asian stores. So they literally sell like so much different types of food so they can do like popular restaurants in London. They've got bakeries, they've got dessert shops, supermarkets um, and it's basically like a delivery, but in Chinese. Fun fact, it's cheaper on Hungry Panda to order from Golden Dragon than it is on Deliveroo. So I'm just looking at some stuff. <gasps> Found it. Why did they put it there? So I've got Tiu Zhao Tao Ha, which is um, flat rice noodles with pork and prawns. I'm also gonna get a guai diu for my sister. And it's a, uh, are they rice guai diu? Is that with flat rice noodles as well? Yeah. Flat rice noodles with prawn. I'm also going to order some steamed eel in black bean sauce, which is my favourite thing to have in Hong Kong. And they've got it on this menu this time for the winter menu. So once that arrives, I'll show you. And now I'm about to edit this vlog you're watching now. <laughs> goodness if you like eels and black bean sauce I highly recommend getting this one it's so good really really good fresh 
and I always ordered these um, Sildel flat rice noodles and it's very very good and I've also got some sriracha just for some extra heat. This is what we've got left for tomorrow when I got two bits of eel that was very very popular and then a lot of this left and the duck can be used for tomorrow that is the end of today's vlog i'm just about to edit it now so you'll see it very very soon but um yeah thank you for joining me today on this little chinese food tour from home that you can order to your home if you are in london and tomorrow we'll be back with another vlog but today was short and chill i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon or evening and also let me know your answers to today's question of the day and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye